Okay, here we are with the brand new CanDo HD Pro 2. We are hooked up on our workbench with a uh, Cummins, and this is actually an ISX CM871 ECM, and supposedly we can do force regens on Cummins engines with it. So we'll show you the good and we'll show you the bad. So first of all, this is the tool itself. You can see not much for buttons, escape, directional pad, and F1, F2, and F3 button. And we're all, it gets its power from the ECM. So there's our power supply over there. And again, we have our cables and breakout harnesses as well. So um, let's get hooked up to this thing. So first of all, we're just gonna go right here to diesel DPF. You would use the arrow keys to move around. And now we can do DPFs on Cummins, Fuso, and Detroit. So let's do Cummins. And we're just gonna kind of follow the prompts here. So there's nothing to really pick him. We'll hit one. And then we'll hit start test. So we got some initialization going on. Now it's gonna say action test. Now it's gonna give us two options. One for a high nitrogen oxidize reset, which I'm assuming is probably the NOx reset command for the NOx sensors. And our after particulate filter regeneration. So we'll go down on that one and hit that. Um, it's asking now, engine running at idle, vehicle stop. I'm not really sure what it's asking there. I've tried this before. If you just hit the OK button on number one or number two, it doesn't really seem to do anything. I think what's just telling you is make sure your engine's running at idle and your vehicle stopped. So then we'll hit number three to confirm. And you'll notice now, like with Cummins Insight, it usually won't even let you go into it. It'll just strictly say that prerequisites aren't met or engine not running or something of that nature. This tool just busts right into it and tries to go do the commands. So the good part about it is it does actually work. I, I know we're on our test ECM here, but we've gone out in the field and tested it. It does work. So you do still have to meet all the prerequisites for it to kick on, like engine temperature and in neutral and parking brake on and all those fun things. So if I scroll down the list here, you'll see we can see the different temperature values. Ours are obviously not going to change since we don't have any sensors connected to this vehicle. And the other weird thing is, you see down here, there's three little buttons. Um, there's that one, that one, and that guy there. And there's actually keys there that you have to hit. So, um, for example, if I hit F2 for show button details, it'll say start, stop, and back. Well, that actually correlates with those function keys in the previous menu. So it's a little, little funky how they did it. I'll hit escape. Um, so if I hit F1 for help, you can see it's kind of a little bit odd. Like everything doesn't really flow right through the menus. And they actually have some like programming language set up in there um, for what should be going on. But it appears that, you know, they, they obviously have this functionality in some of their other tools. They just kind of copy and pasted it in here and, and made it fit with a smaller screen, a new tool. So we'll exit out. And again, this button right here, I believe is actually, so I get to it, right there is the start button. And that's the, so right there we hit start to try to start it. And then this is actually the stop button. So you can see um, that's kind of how that works. So when I go to the start button, you see it says test process up there. And when I go to this other menu here, it actually goes away because it's actually stopped. So that's how you'd start and stop it. And then to exit out of here was another challenge figuring that out. But you basically go down to that, whoop that button there and hit OK and it goes back a menu and then you just kind of hit the escape key a couple times to keep going back out through the menus. So there it is, can do. Um, nice little tool. We'll do a regen on a Cummins, Fuso and Detroit. So handy in some circumstances and more than any other handheld scanner we'll do on the market.